Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Funding Value. If you like making money, I can help you do that. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this content. So today I'm gonna go over a market update. We're gonna look at some of the market conditions like the dollar, 10 year. We're gonna look at uh, gold and silver, oil, uranium, and a couple of other companies at the end. So let's jump in and look at this market update to see what I've got and see what the market's telling us. So first we'll start with the dollar. Uh, I saw, this is a day old chart, it's not updated yet, uh, but I did see that the dollar was up. So we might see a short term uh, strengthening in the dollar, that's what we're seeing. Uh, it's been strengthening a little bit since the beginning uh, of the year. Little pullback in, in, I would say, February, and we might see a little bit of a strengthening, but it's bouncing back and forth right now, uh, sideways. The 10 year, uh, the 10 years, you know, it's probably gonna pull back here in a little bit. Uh, that's typically what these black candlesticks look like at the top here. So we might see a little bit of a pullback uh, more towards the 50 day moving average. Just looking at, if you were to draw a, a trend line here, it just looks like it's gonna pull back for a little bit. And we might see a little bit of a pullback with a little bit stronger dollar and the 10 year maybe pulling back a little bit. Gold, gold's right at the bottom uh, support level here. And we could break out to the downside. I mean, we could have a little breakout like this, or maybe this thing jets a little bit lower. Maybe it, it, maybe it heads down a little bit. So it's one to watch. Uh, I'm curious to see what it does. If the buyers step in uh, tomorrow or, or after market, pre-market. Uh, but I'm curious to see where gold, what, what direction gold's going in. But it's still in the channel right now. Uh, it's barely hanging on by by a thread. So that's one to watch. Silver, see, I get a different picture here looking at silver. This looks pretty pretty bullish outside of these big randomly placed down days. But we've got a nice big pull up and then the small pullback, a little bit of a pull up and a small pullback, like this thing's coiling up to go somewhere. I'm hoping it goes to the upside. I mean, we've got premiums on silver. Uh, I'm hearing about potentially at the end of February, a large, you know, potentially someone could be getting more deliveries of silver off the COMEX. There's a lot of contracts still open. So this is one to watch. I don't see, at least I don't see the blowout to the downside yet. So that's, that's, that's what I'm looking for is that blowout move. Uh, if they're going to try to try to push this thing down, even though there's no silver, silver anywhere and there's high premiums. Uh, still J, this is the silver junior uh, ETF. What I see is a coiling up. It looks like this thing's kind of looking at the, I, I would say the swings. So it swings up, swings down. And obviously if you were to discount this day up, down, up, down, up, it's like coiling up to go somewhere. I think it's going to break to the upside because when you look at it, it looks like you've got nice big expansion days on the upside. There are some bigger down days sprinkled out. Uh, but looking at this, we've got bullish uh, piercing, bullish piercing. We've got these nice bullish piercings. There are a couple bearish engulfings there, but we got piercing, piercing, piercing. Couple of bearish engulfings here. Just looking through, it's coiling up. It's gonna go somewhere fast, very fast. Uh, GDXJ, this is the junior gold miner ETF. Again, this is looking more like gold. You could draw a line across here and it's right at the bottom of it. Is this thing going to, is it going to break out to the downside or stay in the channel and move on up? We'll have to see tomorrow. EXK, now this one looks fantastic to me. I like how we have this nice big move up, the, the candlestick body lengths, very powerful move. And then the pullback. And if you notice, we're seeing a contraction as we move higher and higher in the candlestick body lengths. And if you look, like these were bigger candlestick body lengths coming down, then it gets smaller and smaller, and it, it opened down today and, and worked its way back up. So that's a lot of strength here. And if we, if we can break out of this little area here, I think we're gonna move higher. This is a nice big bullish engulfing too. And these pullbacks were so small, meaning that the buyer to seller ratio, uh, there's a lot more buyers than sellers. Now, if this whole market, if it tanks out on us, 
Um, if something goes wrong, then yeah, obviously I think it'll pull everything down. But this looks strong to me. This is where my focus is on in terms of strength. Uh, FSM, looking at another uh, company, same thing. I'm seeing this coiling up pattern. Big move up, you know, a pullback, a little bit smaller. Move up, pull back, move up. And you can just see this thing coiling up and coiling up. And what I like about it is we've got this nice big bullish engulfing, and then we've got the two small little down days next to it. Like this thing wants to go to the upside. Uh, if this was going to go to the downside, I would say this thing has to be flipped over. We would see a bearish engulfing with two small up days. So I'm, I, this looks like it wants to go to the upside. USO, this guy's got the 50-day crossing the 200. Uh, nice, nice strong movement up. That looks good. Natural gas, this one looks like it's good to move up. Pretty strong. MCF, this is Contango. We've got some gaps here. Not, they don't have to be filled. I mean, there's a gap here that's not filled. 50 crossing the 200-day, looking excellent. Uh, would I be a buyer up here? Eh. I don't like chasing stuff. I mean, we might see a little bit of a pullback. We got this black candlestick here where it opened up, but momentum's going down. But tough, a lot of momentum here. If oil goes up, I think MCF will go up. If oil goes down, I think it'll we'll see a pullback. SM Energy, same thing. We're, we're seeing a contraction in the body. So we've got a nice big bullish engulfing. We see a, a little bit smaller body on this guy than this one. And then we see a cross. We might see a little bit of a maybe a couple day pullback or, or something like that, and then a move higher eventually. Lightbridge Corporation, two big down days, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing. I think we're going to see a little bit of a pullback, either sideways movement or, or a little bit of a pullback. Uh, URNM, it's it nice big. I mean, this is a lot of momentum. Look at the look at the volume down here. So we, we pulled up, we had our pullback, shot higher. Are we going to have a pullback or is this momentum going to continue? We'll have to see tomorrow what this thing does. I don't see, I mean, it broke. It did break up to the upside if you were to draw a nice little pattern through here. Um, looking at the individual companies, some of the components of URNM, uh, these are just, I just grabbed some individual companies. This is a bearish engulfing sideways or down movement is what I'm expecting. Uh, wick at the top, typically that's a pullback. You might see a little bit of a pullback here when you see these wicks on the tops, but sometimes it may take a day or two before it pulls back because of the momentum. Uh, another bearish engulfing, maybe it's going to come and pull back sideways or pull back is, is what my guess is. Westwater is definitely it's pulling back. This is the earnings day. Uh, I was positioned for this to go to the upside, thinking that this was going to be a cup and handle pattern. Uh, it is pulling back. Does this mean I'm going to sell it? No, I'm not going to sell it, uh, but we may have to endure a little bit of a pullback here before moving on up. So I did look and scroll through Westwater's uh, conference call. I didn't see any red flags. Uh, There's nothing that stood out to me that was that bad. Uh, they are progressing their pilot plant forward. Um, they're going to see, you know, test it, do their, their pilot plant things. and. I didn't. I didn't see any red flags in there. They didn't. They don't have any earnings. They do have cash to get this stuff moving. So uh, I didn't see any potential share dilution. Didn't see any of that stuff. So there was no red flags that I saw when I read through it. Um, but obviously, markets like to be, I guess, coddled or they want better guidance or something. Uh, but it didn't seem too bad to me when I read through it. Uh, everything else to sum up, kind of this whole, I would say, uh, market. Oil's obviously got a lot of momentum to the upside. It looks pretty strong. Same with natural gas. Uh, the dollar's getting a little bit stronger. The 10-year, if I were to guess, kind of at the top of the channel, might see a little bit of a pullback. Uh, we might see uranium pull back a little bit just by looking at, at some, some of the companies. Uh, I did see Paladin shoot up higher. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag, some going up, some going down. I saw Next Gen was pulling back. It looked like it had a, a bearish engulfing as well. And then silver, so, uh, gold looks like it's kind of hanging on <laughs> by the, uh, I don't know, it's barely hanging on. I want to see where that goes uh, tomorrow. And then silver looks pretty strong. Uh, I'm seeing a coiling up of silver. So I, I, I'm seeing mixed signals all over the place. 
uh, in terms of some commodities looking strong, others starting to pull back and look weak. And that's another reason why you want a little bit of a lot. It's because it'll diversify your portfolio. If we get a pullback in uranium and oil shoots on higher, it kind of levels out that portfolio. If you guys have any comments, leave them below. Love to hear what you guys think. Um, if you guys want to see any different content, leave it below. Uh, what do you think about the market? What are you seeing in the market? You know, leave it in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, why not? Uh, we talk about all the, the cool stuff. Give me a thumb up if you like the content. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.